Genre, Expository Text Survival at 40 Below by Debbie S. Miller Illustrated by John Van Zyl Along the Kayakuk River, towering mountains guard the magnificent valley. Their sheer faces watch the seasons change. Click, click, click. Snapping hooves and grumbling voices fill the autumn air. With heads held high, a herd of caribou follows the river through gates of the Arctic National Park. These regal deer wear new coats of dense fur, with velvet antlers curving toward the sky. Ready for winter, the caribou have gained a thick layer of fat from summer grazing on the tundra. Other arctic animals scurry and prepare for the coming eight months of snow. Chickadees and gray jays cache seeds and morsels of carrion, hiding the food in cracks beneath tree bark. Red squirrels pluck spruce cones and hurl them to the ground. They will tear open the cones and eat the spruce seeds through the winter. A weasel snatches a brown lemming and carries it to an underground food cache. Gates of the Arctic National Park and Preserve Barrow Arctic Circle Denali National Park Fairbanks Anchorage Juneau Nights grow colder. A thin layer of ice creeps across a pond near the river. Snug in their lodge, beavers rest after cutting many saplings for their underwater cache. Near their food pile, an Alaska blackfish paddles slowly through pond vegetation, searching for insect larvae. This bottom dweller can survive the winter in shallow frozen ponds with little oxygen. Along with gills, the blackfish has an unusual esophagus that can work like a lung absorbing oxygen from the air. During the winter, this fish will find holes in the ice and breathe through its mouth. Leaves rustle softly as a wood frog burrows into the duff of the forest floor. Suddenly, the frog feels its skin freezing. Its heart begins to beat rapidly. The frog's liver quickly produces lots of glucose. This sugary fluid, which the frog pumps through its body for several hours, will protect the insides of the cells from ice crystals. When more than three-quarters of its body freezes, the frog stops breathing and its heart stops beating. But like magic, the frog is still alive. Beneath the insulating layers of duff and snow, this frozen amphibian will hibernate until spring. It's a live frogsicle. Farther up the valley, a small golden mammal is plump after a summer diet of tundra, plants, and seeds. As days grow shorter, the male arctic ground squirrel tunnels into the earth to prepare its burrow. He digs an underground chamber about the size of a basketball, and stuffs it with grasses and tufts of caribou fur. Then he collects and stores seeds and berries. Sick, sick, sick. The squirrel chatters a warning signal. Across the river, a grizzly bear browses on berries and digs up thick potato-like roots with her sharp claws. Alarmed by this huge predator, the squirrel dashes beneath the tundra. Like the squirrel, this grizzly will soon dig her winter den on a mountain slope. As snowflakes swirl, the squirrel is ready to hibernate. He curls into a ball in his burrow, then slowly supercools his body, lowering his temperature to just below the freezing point of water. His heart rate gradually drops to three beats per minute, and his brain activity ceases. This ice-cold, furry squirrel looks dead, but amazingly, he is only in the inactive state of torpor. After three weeks, something triggers the squirrel to wake up. His heart rate increases. 
He warms his body by burning brown fat. This insulating fat protects his vital organs and acts like a heating pad. Within several hours, his heartbeat and temperature are normal. After rearranging his nest, the squirrel curls back into a ball and falls asleep. He dreams and sleeps soundly for about 12 hours. Then his body super cools again. Like a yo yo, the squirrel warms himself, sleeps, and super cools about a dozen times during the winter to conserve enough energy to survive. Above the squirrel's burrow, an arctic fox searches for prey. The fox picks up the scent of voles beneath the snow. These mouse like animals are huddling in their nest to keep warm. Like an acrobat, the fox springs high in the air and pounces on the voles. Breaking through the snow, he traps one by surprise. The Arctic fox keeps warm in frigid temperatures because he wears two winter coats. His dense underfur insulates him like the down in a fluffy sleeping bag. His thick outer coat has tiny air pockets inside the hair shafts instead of color pigment. The snow white coat perfectly camouflages the fox for hunting prey and escaping predators. Fur also covers the soles of his paws, and his big bushy tail provides extra warmth. Inch by inch, the layer of snow deepens with each winter storm. On a frigid January day, the temperature plummets to 40 below zero. Thick pond ice cracks and makes eerie sounds. The fluffy quilt of snow insulates and protects the many animals, plants, and insects beneath it. It is much warmer under the snow layer than in the open air. Other animals are well adapted to survive the colder air temperatures above the ice and snow. Snowshoe hares and ptarmigan zigzag between the willow bushes. Both animals can travel lightly across the snow with insulated feet that help spread out their weight. But the ptarmigan can't survive the lethal night temperatures and fly off at dusk to seek shelter. <laughs>